Well, happy Thanksgiving. If you have questions about preparing your turkey, we have the answers, especially if you're just waking up. So the expert, the Butterball expert is joining us. Nicole Johnson, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thanks for having us. So as people are waking up, what if they still have a frozen turkey? What do you do? Well, we tell them not to panic, right? They reach the right folks. But we do get this phone call a lot. And this is a nice sized turkey. This is about a 20 pound turkey. Mm -hmm. So ideally, you can jump start the thawing process with a cold water bath. Now it takes a half hour per thawing, that's ideal. And we can help them cook from a partially thawed state. All right, at least there's hope there. Yes. <laughs> okay, so moving on. What do you think? Is it dressing or stuffing? You know, I think it's what you grew up with, right? My mom has always called it stuffing, so I call it stuffing. What about you? Okay, after moving to Florida, <laughs> even though I grew up in this area, I called it stuffing. Then I moved to Florida and realized it's stuffing if it's in the turkey and it's dressing oh, if it's out it. of the turkey. I That's love it. That's what I'm it. thinking. But we get that phone call a lot. People want to know, is it okay to stuff that turkey? And it's absolutely, from a food safe perspective, totally fine to stuff the turkey. Ideally, you want to mix your wet and dry ingredients right before you place it into the turkey. Mm -hmm. If you decide to do it alongside in a casserole dish, that's fine as well. You just want to make sure, regardless if you've stuffed the turkey in, I've stuffed the dressing or stuffing uh -huh. inside the turkey or in a casserole dish, use your meat thermometer to check for doneness. 165 is the final end temperature for that stuffing. For that stuffing, right? Okay. All right, moving on to handling the bird. Right. It's out of its case yep. I don't know how do we clean it and how do you get it ready and be sanitary at the same time great question so from a food safety perspective you want to make sure you wash your hands beforehand sure you simply take the bag off the turkey discard of the bag you drain those raw poultry juices over the kitchen sink okay you're going to use a pan like this um, you know ideally two to two two and a half to three inches tall. And if you have a flat rack to place in the bottom of the pan, it helps to elevate the turkey up off the bottom of the pan and allow for that nice hot circulating Ooh, air. Yeah, so the skin can get crispy all exactly. over. Exactly, want that beautiful golden brown. You just pat it dry with a paper towel and then you can brush the skin lightly with some vegetable oil prior to it roasting and that's gonna help to prevent that skin from over drying. Now a lot of people think it takes all day to roast your turkey. Mm -hmm. Not the case. We recommend a 325 oven from start to finish. Now, as the turkey's been cooking for about two thirds of the way, you may take a peek, open up that oven door and notice that the breast area is starting to brown faster than the rest of that turkey. So that's when we tell people, take your piece of foil. Okay. Not too big, right? About the size of a notebook sheet of paper. Perfect. And you Cover can the tent breasts. it because you don't want to over brown the breast. Sure. So that's a great little hint that we have for no our No burning callers. of the skin. We want it all perfectly brown Absolutely. and crispy. Absolutely. That okay. is ideal. Yeah. All right. So you, you mentioned the three T's. Yes. And that is everything is remembered in, in things of three. So we talk about the thawing, right? Cold water bath or refrigeration. Mm -hmm. We talk about our meat thermometer and it's going to register 180 in the deep thigh. Okay, show us where that is. So it's gonna be 180 in the deep thigh. Okay. You wanna make sure you get it in there but you don't touch the bone. Sure. 170 in the breast. And again, if you've stuffed your turkey, easiest way to check for doneness, 165 in the center of the stuffing. Now a lot of times people don't know where the breast of the turkey is at, where the deep thigh is at. So we tell them they can visit the butterball.com website and we've done redone some of our videos, one of which is where to check for doneness. Okay. So it's a really nice visual for people to see. It's about a 60 second long video. They're real useful. Let's say you pull out the turkey, you uh, take the temperature in all three spots, it's all good to go. How long do you let it rest for before you carve it? Excellent, so when you take it out of the oven, we tell people let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Why? You allow those juices to settle, so when you go to carve it, the juices aren't gonna spatter and, and pop up at you. So 15 to 20 minutes to ease with the carving is really a great idea. All right, perfect, I love it. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Any more tips? Remember, Butterball has all the answers. You can even text them now. We have all the information on our website, pix11.com. And of course, if you need help, you can call Butterball Turkey, talk to them, and uh, also get tips on YouTube and Facebook as well. Thanks so much. Happy Thanksgiving. Stick around. We'll